Different students and professors use the chemistry building daily to study and teach, but Don Garvin isn't your typical occupant of the chemistry building. Garvin, I use only scientific glass blower, is starting his day inside the glass shop, melting and molding the transparent substance. Garvin has worked for the university for over 35 years, starting in the shipping and receiving department before being approached for an apprenticeship by his predecessor, Don Fowler. The first thing I did was he taught me how to take a piece of glass tubing and take a piece of a glass knife, which is tungsten steel, and score it and moisten the scratch just a little bit and then break it. And then after I'd done that, then put them back together and just as you're rotating it in the fire. And I did that for weeks. It took about five to six years, a good six years, just to get a comfort level down. The 57-year-old repairs chemistry equipment for all of IU's campuses statewide, as well as creates custom chemistry fixtures from scratch. He is super helpful and always friendly, and he's able to take something that's an idea and make it an actual physical thing. If we break something and have to send it away, we're talking like weeks to months before we can actually get it back, where he can just fix it in a couple hours. Garvin steals the attention of any introductory conversation with the description of his unique occupation. People are surprised that there's a glass blower at Indiana University, because a lot of people are aware of the artistic side with the figurines and, you know, like you see the little knickknacks. But people are surprised at the amount of glass that's involved in, in research and, and in the science side of it. But his skill set is not restricted to only the sciences. The versatile craftsman also molds the glass for other purposes. The fun side is being creative. Uh, you get to see, you get to go from the raw material, which is the tubing, and then see a finished product. So, you know, that's the fun. And then you can melt the glass and, and stretch it, and, you know, so it, it's not a boring job. In Garvin's hands, the solid see-through material becomes like silly putty. It, it's, it gets real malleable. It's, I kind of tell people, um, it's just kind of like taffy in one sense. Um, when you heat it, it's going to get soft in uh, wherever the fire is. And like right now, it's going to, if I don't turn that, it's going to get soft on this side. Flame is pushing it in. And so it's soft and we can move it while it's soft on that side. The other side, Running the glass shop has been a rewarding career for Garvin, one where he has found his true calling. I, I, don't, I can't think of any other job that I would enjoy any better. It's challenging, uh, stimulating, um, exciting, frustrating. Um, it's just been really, really, really great uh, career choice for me.